Hello, boys and girls, my name is Halsey, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. And today we are here at our dirt farm where we will have a building constructed around it. And down there you can see the outline and it's intentionally not that symmetrical. Um, I think it will all make sense. Uh, but I believe I have the outline down there in a fashion so the the whole building is inside the building or or maybe some of the of the components like the the glass out there might be actually part of the of the wall and this building is inspired by a beat ups build uh, from his uh, building with B-Dubs world. Uh, he calls it uh, brutalistic architecture. I'm not sure if that's uh, entirely uh, correct. Um, I associate a bit a different style with uh, brutalistic, but nevertheless, it's industrial. And that's the look I am going here for. So that's head down there where I have prepared a few shulkers quite a few bone blocks we need for that um, some sandstone and other various blocks um, so you can guess the the build seam it's it's on the light creamy side of things and uh, I think first step is to, to build up the, uh, the shell, which is mainly uh, bone blocks. And this build will not uh, feature that many details as we did over the last few episodes. It will be a very flat build, but we will have a bit of a variation of different blocks and thereby uh, making it uh, interesting to to look at but nevertheless it will not have that much depth at least for the for the most part we do have these insets in various places that's where we will actually have some details to to go about and then i also have to think about how to make the the entrance uh, initially, I thought uh, uh, let's just put down some doors, but maybe we can we can have a different kind of doors. But we will see. The facade is done mostly, and as you can see, it's basically these bone block strips from bottom to top, top to bottom, and on occasion we have these smears in slightly dark color so I think those are water stains so if the rain drops on the facade uh, uh, this colors uh, the whole thing the gap there in the middle and on the other side that's where the detail will come in and we also have some holes still in the facade and that's where a special block comes in a mushroom stem and mushroom stems or mushroom blocks that's one of those blocks that you only can obtain with silk touch and as we are not allowed to mine anything this gets a bit tricky, but we will we will manage. I need to to set this up uh, a bit, and uh, uh, then we can see how we get the mushroom stems in place up there, down there, and everywhere where we need them. Getting the mushroom in there needs a bit of uh, work. 
uh, because we cannot grow them in there because they have some growth requirements, but we should be able to grow them out here. Uh, help a bit along with bone meal. And then we can basically do this. And and we need blocks and buttons. And block here, block here, and yet another one. And we have them in. Now we have to repeat this for the other two, uh, but this mushroom here is a bit of an issue. So we have to get this one out of the way. And something that I saw uh, could be could be helpful is if we have a slab and then TNT on top of it that should minimize the blast radius and basically only blast things up to the wall so keep fingers crossed Well, did not even blast everything up to the to the wall, um, but I think this way we can nicely uh, control the the damage. If we do there this time. Uh, we destroyed a bit of the wall, but that is something we can easily repair. The first of these side bits is now also in and I did struggle a bit with it. Uh, I was not really convinced that it works out the way I imagined, but sometimes you just have to trust in, in the process. Uh, how I did this was basically the first uh, pass through was just uh, building up the wall with with the blocks. The blocks are on on two levels. Uh, also have uh, some kind of decorative blocks in there like furnaces, blast furnaces, hoppers, uh, node blocks, and so on. And then. The, the second pass was adding all these details, is uh, uh, non-full blocks, half blocks, trapdoors, buttons, fences, uh, um, grindstones, lightning rods, you name it. Uh, and basically going back and forth, up and down, seeing where are we lacking details. And with that, I think this turned out great. Uh, it's a complete jumble, does not make any, any sense whatsoever how this forms up, but that's exactly uh, what I wanted to to get here and with this this breaks the the blandness of the of the two sides here nicely and we will add a bit more to to those sides as well so uh, uh, the uh, the patches here do make a bit more more sense also give the, the whole thing a bit more depth, but the idea is the 
large parts are rather bland and then to compensate we have this tiny strip which is full of details. So with one side done and gaining the, the confidence that I can pull it off, I will do the back side and then also the other side and then you can see how much we have to add here on the walls and then we also want to uh, uh, tackle the door i have not yet settled on a design yet while you marvel at this marvelous wall of marvels um, and other things uh, I will try to figure out how I want to do the door in a proper and ingenious way. I did a thing and it's even working. So what I wanted to do here was having a door, but not just any door, a bit of a fancy door, so not just a door in the wall that you grab the handle and open it, but uh, maybe something larger. And I settled on a three by three, as you can see back there. And of course, uh, I could go and look up some fancy three by three piston door, but I wanted to have something that I could have cooked up on my own. So, and here we have it. It opens and then it closes again. And this is, is really a neat design. It makes use of triple piston extenders that part uh, I had to, to look up, uh, that's designed by Rislash. Um, I will link his, uh, his video down in the description, so uh, do check it out if you're interested. But we basically have a piston extender, triple horizontal piston extender down there. That's for the lowest part of the row. Then we have the same thing here on this side using honey so the two rows do not stick together and then the top row gets a bit more complicated but it's the same thing again just offset one to the back so that uh, this observer does not stick to the, the honey and breaks everything. And with that, we basically have this, this nice system going there where we, uh, where we can pull out the three layers in, in strips. And if you would imagine uh, this being uh, lightning rods or bars instead of... Uh, uh, iron blocks that would be so cool especially if you then would not see the uh, slime or honey block behind it that would be a really cool effect but of course this is minecraft and we do uh, seem to be a lim bit limited uh, by the things that we have here in the game but this is it for this episode until next time i will uh, uh, have a building in the same style for the blast chamber over there and also the basalt generator a bit further back so we can check these things off and we will turn our attention to something else all right then have a good one goodbye